Hi, I'm going to teach you how to count electrons. This is when we have an electrolytic cell and we're putting energy into the cell. We can really find out one of two things. Typically the questions are number one, what's the mass that's being produced? Or number two, how long does it take to produce a certain mass? Now, before we jump into the example so you can learn how to do this, there's some background things that you need to know. Remember that an amp is a coulomb per second. Next, Faraday's constant, 46,485 coulombs per one mole of electrons. Here's the power of Faraday's constant. It allows us to go from current to moles of electrons, which means that's the bridge to get from our electricity stuff, all right, the amperage. It walks the bridge over to the moles where we can start moving into amount of substance. Um, so really powerful, we use this one a lot. Um, you have to count the number of electrons that are gained or lost. That's the whole point of mole of electron. You're going to have moles of electrons gained or lost. And then you have to convert from moles of atoms to moles of electrons or vice versa, moles of electrons to moles of atoms. And I will show you how to do this. This right here, number one thing that students forget. So keep that in your mind. I'll put a star by it when we do it in, this, in these problems. Um, as always, one of the best ways to learn is just do a couple of problems. So let's do example problem one. We're going to have an amperage of 0.445. It's the electrolysis of water, so we're breaking water um, into hydrogen, oxygen. It's going to take 45 minutes, and the question is, well, what's the mass of oxygen that's going to be produced? Um, so I wrote down our half reaction. Here's oxygen being produced. Hydrolysis of water, water being broken into hydrogen, oxygen. Notice it's four electrons transferred four electrons are going to be transferred on this. Now, I wrote over here a little note. This is always where I begin. I look at units, 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 units. Units will tell you what to do. So I write down what I want, what I have. So I have amps. Always break amps into coulombs per second. You've got to be able to see those units. So I have coulombs a second and minute. Well, right away I can say I can get rid of time and I want grams. And so I start to say, oh, I can see where this is going. If I can get rid of the time, I've got coulombs, I can use Faraday's constant to bring me to moles of electrons, um, and then from there eventually get to grams, and I'll show you how to do it. So let's start with our amperage. We have 0.445 coulombs per second, and we're going to times that by our 45 minutes. And let's get rid of minutes. One minute has 60 seconds. So I'm going to lightly do this for you. You can see how these units cancel. The seconds will cancel, minutes will cancel, and right now I have coulombs. So now we can use this very powerful bridge to go from the coulombs to the amount of substance, um, which is actually not quite amount of substance, the moles of electrons, but it will bring us further eventually. Um, so let's get rid of coulombs. Coulombs goes in the denominator, so it cancels. I'm going to put mole of electron in the numerator. One mole of electrons is 96,485 coulombs. So check this out. The coulombs now cancel. So what do I have? Mole of electron. Now remember that's moles of electrons. How many electrons do we have? It's not moles of substance, but check it out. I have a relationship right here. Four moles of electrons are associated with one mole of oxygen. Look how cool this is. Four moles of electrons um, are going to be lost when we form that one mole of oxygen. Very cool. Look at what we did. We walked, we moved from moles of electrons to moles of actual substance. So now I have moles of oxygen. Now all we have to do is bring this to grams. One mole of oxygen is 32.0 grams of oxygen. And look at what cancels. Mole of electron is gone, mole of oxygen, mole of oxygen. And what are we left with? Yay, grams. Grams of oxygen. So 0.445 times 45 times 60 divided by 96,485 divided by four times 32. Um, and that is going to give us, let's see here, 0 0.010 grams of oxygen, pretty cool. Now, this is just opposite. You are given grams, so they tell you the amount that plates when you do this electrolytic cell, when you put energy into it. Um, so we're going to plate 21,450 grams of sodium, um, and the amperage on this is pretty large. Uh, we've got 25,000, wow, 25 times 10 to the three for the amps. And they want to know, well, how long? 
how long do you have to run um, this electrolytic cell at the 25,000 amps to get 21,000 grams of sodium? So I wrote down our half reaction, sodium ion going to um, a sodium solid. Um, let's look at what we want for units and what we're given. So I'm given grams. And remember, I, I always break apart amps. That's going to be coulombs per second. What do I want? I want second. So I can see seconds right here, which means I want to get that all by itself. So I'm going to start with mass, and we're going to bring that to moles, then moles of electrons, then I can use this great bridge, Faraday's constant, to go from mole of electron to coulomb, which will allow me to isolate time. All right, let's work it together. We're going to have the 21,450 grams, that's your sodium, convert it to moles, so we've got 22.99 grams. Just looking at the periodic table, one mole of sodium. Okay, so let's see what cancels so far. We got rid of grams, I have moles of sodium. Now to bring this to electrons, we've got to use this little half reaction. One mole of sodium came from one mole of electrons. So one mole of sodium was produced by one mole of electrons. That is the crucial step. Uh, just like this one up here was a crucial step and what students tend to miss. When you do Faraday's constant, that's just not moles of substance, it's moles of electrons. Um, so now let's use Faraday. I'm going to get rid of the mole of electron, put that on the denominator so it cancels, and we'll put the um, coulomb on top. One mole is 96,485 coulombs. Ooh, we're getting so close. So let's see what we can cancel out now. We've got moles of sodium gone, moles of electrons gone, and we now have coulombs, and this is where we can bring in the amperage. Remember amperage, again, coulombs per second. We want coulombs to cancel, second to stay. Um, and so we've got the 25,000, so 25 times 10 to the three coulombs for every one second. Wow, wow. Um, that's really a lot of current moving in one second. Now, I know that this is going to be a big number, so I'm quickly just going to put this over to, uh, let's put it into hours. So we will have um, the 60 seconds in one minute, and you've got 60 minutes in the one hour. So if we do all this multiplication and division, you'll be able to tell I rigged this. The answer is one hour. Wow. With that amperage, it only takes an hour to plate 21,450 grams of sodium. Pretty cool. So the two crucial steps is going to be using Faraday's constant to go from current to moles of electrons. Second crucial step is to go from mole of substance to mole of electrons. And you will always get that from your half reactions. Um, lastly, watch your units. Your units will tell you what to do. Write down the units you begin with, the unit you want to end with, and you'll be able to figure your way through all that, that dimensional analysis. Great work. If you have other questions on redox or electrochemistry, please look at the play, playlist that's titled Redox. Have a good day. Thanks.